Hey superhumans, this is a quote that I love from my book. It is easy to declare that the advice was obvious after the fact. This happens throughout my entire career. I will teach something very basic that has to be done if you want to build a foundation to create exponential growth in your life. Or if you just want to become better daily, you have to build a strong foundation and then work on that. So it's very easy to say that going out in nature, so that's obvious. And I'm like, yes, that is. Do you do it? Well, not really. Well, then it doesn't fucking matter if it's obvious if you're not doing it. Eating healthier, sleeping more, doing the superhuman hour is really an obvious thing to do. Like it makes so much sense whenever you break it down. But just because it's obvious doesn't mean people are going to take the action and move forward. In fact, in my experience, because it's obvious, people overlook it. Can't be that simple. Like how often does people say that? It can't be that simple. Just eat healthy. No, there has to be something more to it. You must have like, what's the magic potion? Maybe you, you're mixing like, like I've met people that have all these sorts of shakes and all this like eight, 18 cloves of garlic mixed with ginger and butternut squash and the eyeball of a gazelle. And it's, it's what will pinpoint the body fat and just clear it away for you. Which is all nonsense, obviously. It's just like a diuretic. Most people are, end up taking... Most of those shakes, most of those cleanses, they're low calorie and diuretics. They're not amazing. But people look at it because it's special. It looks special or they've said it's special or whatever. And then you just tell them obvious stuff. Eat less calories than you need and you will lose weight. Obvious. But it can't be that simple. So I'm not going to do that. And, I, and, and the world of martial arts, like I, I use this. This is where this quote sort of came for, for me. Whenever... <laughs> Whenever people were sparring and they get hit and they get injured or whatever, people would always say to them, you should have ducked that, you should have parried, you should have did a tornado roundhouse kick. And you're like, well, fucking yes. I should have just not got into the cage if I knew I was going to get injured. It's very obvious after the fact. But just because it's obvious doesn't mean it's not good advice. So my advice is always to look towards the, the end goal that you want to achieve. If it is weight loss, if it is fat loss if it is muscle growth muscle loss whatever the fuck you want i don't care what your goal is as long as it doesn't hurt other people have a have a look at the goal and then look at the path like is the path that maybe the most obvious path gets you there or there could be a signpost everywhere that make no sense to all these shiny objects and you go to these shiny objects and they don't work out for you Look at look at your past. Have you taken the shiny object repro reproach approach? Have you taken the shiny object approach in the past and failed? Have you succeeded and then ended up going back worse? Maybe you've done the shakes or the the cleanses or whatever the fuck a cleanse means, and you've ended up going backwards after that. So look at that. Look at the the most obvious the most obvious path to your goal. Uh, and most time that is to find someone that's already achieved what you want to achieve. So if I wanted to be a millionaire, I look for people that, who have become millionaires. But I want to become a millionaire through the work that I do, say, for example. So there's no point in me looking at people who have won the lotto. How did you get to become a millionaire? Well, I won the lotto. Right, fuck it, I'll just buy lotto tickets and wait. I want to look at someone that's built a business and grown and done become a millionaire that way so i'm looking at my end goal the two end goals the two people are still millionaires but it's not the path that i want i don't want to hope that i somehow am as lucky as them and i win the lotto i want to actually build a business i want to help people i want to grow that way i don't really give a fuck about being a millionaire i'm just using it as an example so look at the end goal and maybe the most obvious advice seems obvious to you and it can't be that but fucking try it and most times you'll find that like fat loss calorie counting obvious most obvious advice but people got bored of it because of social media so they tried to come up with all these elaborate ways to do calorie deficit so doing fasting but turns out you're just happen to be eating less doing a cleanse a soup cleanse but turns out you're just eating less like it's just not as cool to say calorie deficit anymore or eat less calories or fucking whatever but it's the most obvious and simple way of doing it. Track your, track your eating and move forward. How do you live a better life? Superhuman hour. Journal, meditate, exercise, sleep better, all that stuff. Very obvious. 
massive changes if you actually do it. So just because the advice is obvious doesn't mean it's wrong. And just because it's obvious doesn't mean everybody's going to track it. So you're going to meet people that say, no, nah, I tried that, didn't work for me. Ask them how long they tried it for and what other shite they've tried in the meantime. Um, so think about your end goal. Think about the advice that you've been given. Think about where you want to actually end, end up. What, what you think you'll need to do to get there. And then start looking at the advice, whether it's really obvious or not. It's probably the simpler option is probably the best one. That's the one that you're most likely to stick to anyway, if nothing else. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope you have an amazing day, whatever you get up to. And I will speak to you again tomorrow.